Hey guys, this is Banner Knights, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum Cast Form. Bet you didn't think you'd hear that again so soon. Anyway guys, uh, sorry about the last few days where I haven't been uploading anything, I just haven't had a chance to record. I, like I said, I've been watching over my aunt and uncle's pets and their house while they're gone. On like, I guess a little mini vacation or something. And I've been mostly playing other games with my friends while I'm here. Just making the most out of the time, but I do have this episode for you guys today at least, so I will hopefully make up make it up for you guys soon. Uh, well, where to start off? If you guys remember, in the last episode, we got another email from Net telling us about more Shadow Pokemon they added to the list, only one which was actually new. And in this episode, we again have no clue what we're supposed to be up to. Um, sorry if I sound a little different right now, I am in, I'm obviously still over in my aunt and house, and the most viable room for recording was a very small one, the one where I've been using their PC and my laptop in conjunction with each other. So since this is a small closed off, closed off room, I may be echoing a lot, I'm not sure, I'll see in editing. Anyway, uh, hmm, I have no real clue where to go next. Uh, let's head to Pirate. Who knows, maybe there's something there. I mean, the kid's grid's there, so you never know. And we get an email. Now, in reality, guys, all you have to do is go to two random areas to get the last email we got. And this one, it doesn't really matter where you go. But, as you see here, we have another email this time from Sek... Didn't know it was from Sek... I was expecting another one from Net. Anyway, Trouble in Under. Hi, big guy. Why do they all call me big guy? Well, no, it's just Sek, actually, I think. We've been hearing about Shadow Pokemon from people visiting the Under from Pyrite. A lot of the visitors have seen the Shadow Pokemon. Net and the Under should have more information for you. So, it seems like we do actually have to go see Net anyway. So, I guess while we're at it, say we go the old-fashioned way down to the Under. Take a little stroll through Pirate Town. Through dueling, dueling square <coughs> circle, and no, I'm not. Oh wait, dude. And no, I'm never gonna give up that square circle deal. Swear to God, I don't get why. It's, well, I get why it's called dual square. It probably sounds more natural. I'm going to completely avoid this girl because apparently she can't see two feet to her left side, or even a few inches to her left side, for that matter. And again, we teleport, and my character is magically in front now. And now, guys, we are back down in the front once again. This time, no Venus to come up on the monitor. What do you guys have to say? I went up top the first time in too long. I saw something that was really amazing. Over in the distance, there was a new tower. I stared at it for an hour. Okay, sorry, bad rhyme. <laughs> God, it's like more lovely or Merly. If I'm not mistaken, there's a Coliseum at the very top. Yes, there is. I've been there. Has it finally been completed? Cypher's real Gantara? Of course they know it's from Cypher. There are rumors going around that they're planning to raise money on the world takeover plan at the tower. God, these people know a whole lot of information. You, Okay, you'd expect a secret evil syndic syndicate organization. You would expect them to like take care of people who know too much. Hey, Bet. Hi, Beta. Did you meet up with that Sylvie? He was saying something about going to check out Real Gun Tower. Where is this Real Gun Tower anyway? Okay, I'm thinking most of these people. Oh, hello. I'm guessing most of these people just say the same thing they would have said before you went to Real Gun Tower for the end game. So no need to talk to a whole lot of them. Uh, okay, hello, Meg. Where's your brother? Oh, hi, Beta. I think there's been a sneaky trainer in the under lately. There's a guy in front of the junk shop named Gurx. He apparently saw the Shadow Pokemon in a battle. Gurx, didn't we battle him before? The quickest way to find is to ask Gurx himself. Beta, can you check it out? Well, I guess if that's the next part in our after game story, I guess I have no choice, do I? But I'm always welcoming a new Shadow Pokemon to my team. Anyway, guys, for those of you who would like to follow the story, Gurx is this guy up there, which you may remember that we battled before. Just go into the Yodayo, or Yadoya, the inn. Go up to the top floor, come out there, and go talk to Gurx. We will be doing that, but I figure since we're down the under again after a while, after a while of not being here, I think we'll do one thing that we could have done a long time ago. Now, you guys all remember 
the Ender's Coliseum across this little UFO elevator, right? Yeah, it's the one that we've been in and out of many, many times chasing us down through. Well, guys, seeing as how my Pokemon are much higher level, and trust me, the Pokemon you fight in this Coliseum are all going to be around the level of my Pokemon now, actually. Uh, one little tip, guys, if you have an electric type, like Kideki here, like an Ampharos, or even Raikou, if you have any electric type, I guess a ground, uh, not ground, uh, grass type would work too, for the most part, but electric will ruckus, like, 80% of every Pokemon you face in here. So I'm gonna bring out Kiraki, get him a few levels, hopefully, and I guess Cloud here, I decided for my second choice, Octorok probably would've been better for the good variety of attacks, but, let's see. Let's save, and then... We got another Coliseum to take on, guys. Uh, I'm not going to... Well, I don't know. I don't even know why I saved. Anyway, um, I'm probably going to speed through this one as well. I don't know why I'm talking slowly. I'll be give it your best and go for gold. Yes, I will. Guys, I will do another speed up here, because you guys don't want to see me just do a bunch of random battles that have nothing to do with the actual story. So I'll be right back. God, look at this place. I like all the Japanese symbols on the far side, but the giant chains in here just look epic. Look at all the signs and everything. This place looks like Chinatown or Little Tokyo. Yeah, Little Tokyo would be more accurate. This looks like Little Tokyo in Pokemon. This has got to be one of my favorite Coliseums. Just for a pure awesomeness. The other ones are great, but seriously, this place is just epic. Anyway, guys, like I said, I promise to speed up, and a speed up you shall get. See you in a few mo See you in a few minutes, guys. Okay, guys, uh, Cloud is trying to learn Sky Attack. Um, I really need to check the levels in the guide I'm borrowing from Kitsune Kani, because I'm really questioning who made this thing, because I think it was supposed to learn this uh, level or two ago, at least, or possibly more. Anyway, guys, Sky Attack here searches out weak spots, then strikes the next turn. It is a two turn attack, just like Fly or Dig. It's a flying type attack, but look at this. Other than it's PP, which really sucks, that only has five. That's 90 accuracy, which I don't like, but then Fly is 95, so it's not perfect either. But look at this. Double the power. As I like Fly. Oh. No. Wait. Son of a... What? What the heck made it jump up to sing? I didn't press anything on the control stick. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> oh, great. Apparently, Fly is still considered an HM, even though it was initially learned, which really sucks. I wasn't quite sure of the mechanics on that. But either way, I did not want to forget this move. So, I will be right back, guys. Okay guys, as you can see there, Cloud just learned Sky Attack. And you may be wondering how exactly it learned Sky Attack when I couldn't do it before. And as you can see, it did it automatically. That is because I actually went to the move deleter over at the base of Mount Battle. It's the old man sitting on the little bench. I pointed him out earlier in the LP. Uh, and actually made him delete Cloud's fly attack. So that way there was room for sky attack here. I kinda wish I was recording that though, cause when it deleted it, a little meow sound. <laughs> it was kinda weird. It sounded like a little cat making a little meow sound or, or like a little pup or something like that. Some small animal. <laughs> anyway guys, uh, you know what? 
as we start the speed up. How will we test out Cloud's new sky attack and see how good it is? And again, despite that blessed skies, kind of sucks that we had to do that because those battles were going very well. I kept getting a bunch of critical hits. And anyway, like in, like I was saying, let's get right back to the music and seeing as how it got cut off partway, I will put the same song back up. Probably. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, see you guys in a few minutes. And guys, the Coliseum is done. Congratulations, you're the champion. You battled fabulously. Why, thank you. Please accept your cash prize of 7,472 poke. God, if that were dollars, freaking... If that was in dollar bills and Pokemon were real, I'd be entering tournaments freaking daily. And as a victory prize, please also accept this TM37. <gasps> New TM? What could that be? We're looking forward to your next entry. What could it be? What could it be? I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna know. And it's... Sandstorm. Okay, it's a decent move, but not really one that my team can really take advantage of. Sandstorm, as you guys know, uh, damages any... Does Rito just tell there? Jeez. Anyway, uh, it damages any non... Rock, ground, or steel type, and boost the special defense of those three types by 30%. And now, guys, uh, those are the prizes for that. I think there may be more prizes if you beat each Coliseum more than once. I will get that to you next. But before we end this off, there's one thing I would like to check beforehand. And let's see, okay, this guy is still in here. I've been waiting for Lady's, Lady Venus in here ever since. Am I being too patient? Yes too patient get the hell out of here <laughs> anyway guys uh in the next episode i guess we'll be heading down to fight that one guy gurks and find out what he knows about the next shadow pokemon will he have the information we seek will he be like hale and request a battle brand well we'll find out everything in the next episode i'll see you all then have a good night y'all bye bye